so. Getting too fat to go through there. Hello y'all, how you doing today? This is Todd from We Put You So. Look, I'm going around feeding the animals this morning and I'm fixing to go in the back, put some rice bear in, in the hog trap. See if they gonna want some rice bran. I'm gonna camouflage the pen in a little bit and look who's coming. Where are you going, kitty? <laughs> she is come check and see what I got for her. We feed her over here in the barn. She just had a litter of babies, and they are in the old... What, bro? That dog is eating cow food. He will eat anything. I'm fixing to have to go get his feed. But we got an old RV in the back, which is tore up and ain't no more good. It was my daddy's old RV, and she had her babies in there. That's where she stays at. I'll stop by and let you see them. But we're fixing to get everything together and go pour some feed. <clears throat> in the hog trap, get it all set up. Just taking y'all around with me today while I do some chores. All right, Max, here you go, buddy. There you go, man. Is that all right or you want the cow feed? No, huh, buddy? He's been doing a wonderful job watching over the animals. He's part of them he stays with them he sleeps with them he's with them every time they they move any noise that goes on out here he's up and alerting he's he's learning he's he's doing his job well let's go over there and feed badger and i'll let y'all take a look at him what do you say guys watch out badger for laying your head Got a couple of Muscovies that stay over here. That's the ones that were in the pond the other day. There's Badger right there, y'all. Guys, I didn't think Badger was gonna make it. He went down. He got wormy on us. Like I said before, I wormed him with two or three different, two, actually two different kinds of worm medicine. And then he started getting a cold. I used some penicillin on him, used some probiotic stuff. I gave him a little bit of everything. I had to, there for a while, I was having to bring his food and water to him. He got down that bad. But he's come back along. He's coming in here eating. Everything's doing fine. We got him some fresh water, got him some good food. He's back eating again and starting to put some weight back on. But I'm fixing to head in the back back there. Check on these hogs. There you go, boys. Y'all can see him back there in the back. Them two hogs right there was born in the pen, in the trailer, put in here. I changed them to little bars and I'm feeding them out. 
They are so hard to get fat. Got something for it. This is some old feed that went bad, got wet. Go ahead and throw it in there too. Had to pull the old thrifty knife out. Take care of that bag. Leave it in the comments. Have y'all ever heard the old saying? Somebody asked you if you got a knife in your pocket. So I got my pants on. My daddy used to say that all the time. I'm fixing to go get my tractor. And I've got some cedar limbs. Some old cedar limbs. I'm going to try to put around this outside. Try to camouflage it a little bit. That's rice bran and some old feed I put in there. Well, wait and see what's going on. I just poked around on the outside. I don't see no fresh signs right now. But a friend of mine come put corn for the deer yesterday. And I will go check them a little bit later on and see if they're still around. I know they're here. It's just a matter of when they're going to pass by right here. This is like a funnel. They pass through here. Got their eyes open yet? Kitty kitties. Can't even want to get to them. Hey guys. Hey kitty kitty. Hey kitty kitty. Kitty kitty kitty. Yeah, they still ain't got their eyes open yet. Got five of them in there. One of my videos that shows a, me killing a snake. It was a water moccasin, not far from here, right in the back. Reason why I killed them snakes, I had a little boy, three years old, try to pick one up over here. He pushed the lawnmower, he was under the lawnmower, picked him up and bit him. Little fella went through a lot over that snake bite. Let's see if I can make it back there with this stuff. Guys, I want to show y'all the potatoes. These two rows right here, that one and that one, were planted before the ice storm. We cut the potatoes up and planted them. The one on the right hand side here was planted later, full of potatoes. They were not cut up. Now, I pulled some up this middle row today and had them for dinner. They're, they're small, but they're, they're starting to produce good. 
I know you can't see in this, see in this film, but them rows are 100 yards long. We're going to have potatoes. Jerry said I couldn't grow nothing over here on this side. There it is, y'all. I'll show y'all that when we harvest them. All right, y'all, we got it all the way around. Camouflage it up a little bit. I know you ain't got to do all this. I got to do something. I got the rice bran in there now. I got it camouflaged out. Let's see what's going to happen. I've been catching hogs since I was real young with my dad. I've, we never had to do nothing like this. These hogs here have been educated before. They either been in a trap or seen something got trapped before. They're not wanting to come in here. And they have no reason not to come in here. They usually do. But you can do what you got to do sometimes. Guys, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram. Now on the Instagram, there's two Instagram channels of Reap What You Sow. One is mine and one is Jarrett's. We put different stuff on there at different times. Uh, we have the TikTok, Facebook. It's all on there, y'all. Look for us. Share us out, guys. God bless. I appreciate you. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.